Hello and welcome to the Mailing Guardian's Greening the Future Awards. We're really proud to present this, our 22nd Greening the Future Awards. Now this is the thing we do every year where we find individuals and companies who are doing pretty incredible things to make the world a little bit better, or a bit, bit better, and saying to them, well done. And hopefully by doing this, we can also do something about climate change. This year we had six exciting categories. Those six categories are oceans and waterways, forests and wildlife reserves, agriculture and 4IR, urban cities, air quality and quality of life, as well as sustainable design. Now in those six categories, and with all the entries we had, it was really hard choosing some finalists and even harder choosing winners. As Sipo said, it was very hard to whittle down all these winners because they're all deserving and they all do incredible work in this space. In the category of Agribusiness and 4IR, the finalists are EnviroServe's Brewery and Dough Waste Upcycle Team, Bronwyn Jones, Andile Koi, Farmer Angus McIntosh, Azar Vardy. And the winner is EnviroServe's Brewery and Dough Waste Upcycle Team. In the Clean Air and Quality of Life category, the finalists are Sekakuna Environmental Justice Network, Zero Waste Schools Project, Bridget Majola, Moidaf Movement, Courtney Morgan. And the winner is Zero Waste Schools Project. In the category of Oceans and Waterway, the finalists are John Kieser, Wally Schultz and Solve, Save Alimpopo Valley Environments, Friends of the Lesbiak, Samir Randero Reese of WWF South Africa's Water Source Areas Partnership, and the Beach Co op. And the winner is Samira Randero Reese of WWF SA. In the category of sustainable design, the finest are Trent Pike, SA Plastics Pact, Nzokana Matase. Grumpy and Vunt, Zetu Kunene, and the category winner is Mzokana Matase. In the category of urban spaces, the finalists are Gareth Morgan, The Retrade Project, Mark Sherritt, Tara Manzi, and the Philippi Horticultural Food and Farming Campaign. And the winner is The Retrade Project. In the category forests, the finalists are Green Pop, South African Reforestation Trust, Agenda Works, Nourish NPO, Township Farmers. And the winner is Green Pop. Congratulations to all our well deserving finalists. Well done to all our amazing finalists and winners. To learn more about those finalists and about the winners, buy the Mail and Guardian print tomorrow and read our eco-friendly Green in the Future supplement. And you can go to greenfuture.ng.co.za to find out even more. Thank you. Thank you.